In India, my parents wanted me to be a lawyer, and I convinced myself to be a lawyer as well. But then I wasn't too sure because I just loved art so much. And I decided to take a year to, to decide whether I wanted to go into law or art. And that's why I'm here. We had to name the big five things that we wanted to do in life. And all of mine were artistic, nothing to do with law. So then I decided that I wanted to go into animation and graphic design, all of this with the help of my coach. And I'm speaking to a lot of artists here, like in the San Francisco area, animation artists, graphic designers, to learn more about the, the field and what the employment opportunities are in them. And the more you learn about these people, about these professionals, like it's like you just keep growing. I thought that art was something that I couldn't do as a main career and that I had to do like a professional career in order to like live a comfortable life. But then I, I realized that there are other things that you can do, like being a graphic designer and animation artist. And like there are so many other things like digital art, photography and all of that stuff. While I was here, I came in contact with an artist who's a full-time artist who's basically making millions of dollars off of his art and he's teaching me how to create my own style that will be immediately recognizable as, oh, that's a hasika. I think the essential skills that a person uh, needs to get around this world, such as networking, things that aren't taught to you, like banking and how to open your own account and maintain your finances and maintain a proper budget, all that stuff, I don't think that's really taught in college and it's something that's taught here and it's really useful in the workshops. I think I've learned more in these past few weeks than I've like ever learned in my life.